Hiya, welcome back. We are at the beautiful St. Abbs today. Look at it, man. It is absolutely gorgeous. Can't believe I'm putting my Christmas tree up this week and it's a balmy 12 degrees Celsius out here. It's absolutely lush. So the target today is going to be Pollock, Codlin and Rass. We're going to turn right out of the harbour and fish that rough ground along there first. We're going to let the tide take us up to the north around to St. Abbs Head a little bit later on. We've got the weedless shards and we've got some metals. Let's get over there and give it a go. Right, here we go, first drop of the session. That sun's really bright, I hope you can see us all right. Um, I'm gonna stick with the lucky little Abu Lua that I was using up at uh, Port Logan last week because we had a load of success with it. It looks like there's a load of small fish in the middle of the water. I'm gonna guess that they're gonna be coolies. I'm gonna have a little chuck out, not too far. I'll let it get to the bottom and then I'll just bring it back up through the depths and we'll find out what those fish are. If they are coolies, I'll probably try and stay underneath them because they won't be very big. Get in. <laughs> First fish of the day. What a belt that. Big boat over there, so I don't want everybody looking at us and thinking I'm talking to myself because they won't know I'm making a YouTube video, you see. But we've got the first one on. Let's get it up and have a look at it. Oh no. Well, that was an absolute pain, wasn't it? My battery ran out just as I pulled that beautiful little ling up there. It came off at the side of the kayak, but I managed to grab it with my hand. I think I got a little bit of footage of it on my phone. I'll stick that in here. Or would you believe it? The camera ran out of battery there just as I brought that in. A lovely little ling, and he's away. So there you go, the first fish of the day. But uh, unfortunately, he didn't get a proper look at it. I'm going to reset the drift though, and I'll stick a bit more of that krill spray on, and we'll uh, we'll have another go with that weedless shad. It's the um, what is it? The Storm GTO 360, I think. That's the one I was using there. I'll see you over there. Right, so I'm just going to reel it along here because the ground here is pretty awful. I do like it for that reason, but it's never a good sign when you pitch up at a mark where there was a boat fishing before you got here and the boat leaves. I always think that's a bad omen, but uh, we'll keep going. Oh, I oh, missed it, damn it. Oh, oh, bloody hell. Oh, I'm in. Am I in? Oh, no, it was a snag. Oh, I missed it, damn it. Right. So I've stopped here because I've seen a few fish sound and I've stuck the little Abu Lua back on. I'm going to cast over to my right hand side. I saw, like I say, I saw a few fish marking, so we'll have a little go here. I've got the metal on, so there's every chance I'll lose it because I'm going to be drifting this way as well. Should have really cast it out the other side of the kayak, but the fish are over there. The ones I saw anyway, so I'm just going to keep going this way and have a little play around and see if I can't get one up. I'm going to go out there and have a drift around that wreck, I think, because I think that's what they're doing. And they're going back over the same ground and they're doing the same drift, so there must be something in it. Right, so there's definitely like a, a wreck or something like it down there. I'm going to put a bit of the stink on. I've set myself up to drift past it. I did see a wreck on Navionics last night when I was looking along this end, but... I thought it was further along, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I should just get Navionics out and have a look. But to be honest with you, I haven't got time because I'm going to drift back over it in just a second. So let me get this down there. See how we do. Do you know what? The 40 grammer might have been ideal for this, mightn't it? This might be the 40 grammer. You never know. Very deep for me, 30 metres of water. Oh, what's this? Oh, I picked something up on the way up off the bottom. <laughs> Another fish, well, yeah, bugger. 
here we go. Let's see if we can get it to the surface, eh? See what it is. I was just going to head off there. This was quite a long way off the bottom, this. I might go back over that little bit of ground again. You never know. What have we got? It is, of course, the obligatory coolie, which is what we thought we might get at this time of year. Right. There he is. I'm happy to see him. Whee! I'll tell you what, we'll go back over there and we'll give it one more go, eh? What am I in? Oh, this is a fish. Get in. <laughs> it feels pretty good as well. Oh, brilliant. I just wanted to go back into the wreck. Oh, goodness me. What have we got here? I mean, drag's really tight as well off uh, pulling out of that snag before, so I should give it a little bit of slack. What have we got? I'm going to get it up before I hit these ropes, though. Goodness me, this feels all right, doesn't it? So I can get it up without getting snagged on those ropes. Maybe I need to go in reverse a little bit. Stay away from them. I'm really excited to see what this is. What have we got? My arm is absolutely knacking. Goodness me. Feels like a nice cod to me. Goodness. What on earth is this? Gosh, it's a long way up, 30 metres like. Can't wait to see some colour. And that's what it is. It is a fantastic looking cod. <laughs> Look at that. Goodness me. Well, that was worth persevering over here for, wasn't it? Look at that. What an absolute beaut. Proper fatty, that lad. I think we'll be drifting that again, don't you? <laughs> see you, pal. And he's off, no bother. Oh, bloody hell. Right, let's get back over there. So we're going to be giving uh, that little old wreck another go. It's definitely something down there that's not natural, it's man-made. But we'll, uh, we'll get down there, see if we can get another one of those cod. Yeah, I'm feeling quite buoyed by that. A little bit excited, as you can probably tell. I think I've got the drift just right to go back over it. I suppose that's the beauty of having the motor, really, is I can uh, adjust as I go. I'm drifting quite fast is the problem, so it's tough to uh, spend a lot of time over it. Oh, I'm in. Get in. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so there's obviously a few fish over this little wreck here. I'm just going to dr keep drifting this, I think, because, uh, well, why wouldn't I? I can see loads of stuff on the sounder. It's uh, nice to get one on. What is it? Doesn't feel as big as the last one. What have we got? Another codlin. That. Just a little chap, but uh, I'm not complaining. Still very pleased to see him. See you, pal. There we are. I think I'm right on target again. Gosh, it stinks that bait spray like. It absolutely stinks. That's all I'll be able to smell in the van tonight. It's the krill one that does you in. The others are all right. The signature squid's quite mild to smell. The, um, the vanilla one, well, that's actually quite pleasant. Bloodworm just smells like a steak. But the krill, jeez, it smells horrific. I haven't used it until today for months. And uh, I can still smell it in the van from the last time I had it. So it's going to be a pongy old night. Oh, I'm in. Yes. <laughs> I didn't even know I was in there for a moment. Oh, have I lost it? No, it's still on, but it's not very big. 
Oh, has it knackered me lure and sent it? I don't know what is going on here. I think something small took the lure and then I got hit by something bigger, but I've still got the little thing on. I think that's what's happened there. I think this is going to be a coolie looking at it. Yep, yeah, I was right. So there you go. I've had two cod and two coolie off this little wreck. Damn it. Let me just uh, adjust myself so I can get back onto the edge of it here before we drop back down because it's 30 metres down, 35 metres down. So by the time the lure gets to the bottom, I'll be past it, you see. I just need to get myself back in the right spot. So just while we reset this drift, tackle-wise today, I've got the Rovex Integra Gold Rod here. It's uh, six foot long and it's an eight to 14 pound rod. I've got on, um, this is a razor claw. This is a 40 gram one. This is a pen spin fisher six, mark six, I think it is. They're really good sealed reels. They're brilliant. This one's been underwater and it's still working well. Uh, on there, I've got spider wire. This is, uh, I think it's 24 or 28 pound max break. It's 0.13 millimeters diameter. Don't let the max break thing put you off because that's not, not actually pound test. A pound test is normally just a bit more than half. So this is probably about sort of 16, 17 pounds test. So there it is, that's me set up for today. Oh, my mate. Yes. <laughs> Seems to be exactly when I get on top of it, that I'm picking the fish up. Oh, this is hurting, oh, I've dropped it, damn it. Oh, I'm in. Yes. <laughs> I think this is going to be a coolie by the way it's been scatty. Although it's pulling a little bit now. We are in 30 odd metres of water, I mean, so everything feels much bigger than it is. It's not a big fish, that's for sure. It's uh, almost definitely a coolie. Let's get it up. He's all right, isn't he? Whoop! Self-releasing fish. There you are. I don't know if you can see that. The white lateral line there in a straight line. That means it's a coolie and not a pollock. Right. I've had to give up on that wreck because uh, the tide's fair racing through here now and I'm getting literally no time over the wreck if indeed I do manage to get over it at all. So I'm going to head in, but uh, I've had a great day and obviously uh, finding that little spot there saved the day at the end really, didn't it? We had that nice cod, we had a little cod and we had a few coolies and of course we had that ling which unfortunately I didn't capture on the GoPro earlier on in the day. Listen, do me a favour would you and subscribe to the channel. Yeah I know, I bang on about it all the time but very few of you who watch the channel are actually subscribed and it doesn't make any difference to you, it doesn't cost you any money but it does make a big difference to the visibility of the channel you know, how many different people YouTube chooses to show your videos to, that sort of thing. Another thing that really helps is a thumbs up so if you've enjoyed the video please give it one of those and if you want to ask us a question, uh, suggest a venue or just say hello please do that in the comments down below because I always reply. I'll catch you next time.